Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on SQL scripting series, how to declare a variable. If you have not gone through my recent SQL scripting series of blogs and videos, I would recommend you to please go through it because I have captured lots of detail over there. So uh, let's start with the demo. So today we are going to see uh, a demo on how to declare a variable at different level uh, in SQL scripting how to initialize the variable at different level and uh, how to uh, understand like the scope of the variable declared at different level. So which will get preference at what level. So let's start with the same uh, database which we have used in our previous uh, demo, the SQL scripting and we are going to use the same schema public. So let me uh, set the context for my execution. For this demo, I'm going to use uh, the SQL Classic Web UI and going forward all the demo will be uh, using the same. So in this uh, example, uh, so uh, whenever you are using any PLSQL block, so there are three different uh, area like first is declare, then a begin. Uh, so begin, within begin and end you have a, a body and then you have an exception block. So on the declare section, or at the between the begin end you can declare the variable and uh, to declare the variable at the declare section versus within the body there's a difference uh, the way you can write the variable in the SQL scripting so if you want to declare a variable in the declare section it's simple and is uh, same as in any uh, other uh, PLSQL uh, language in any other database so in the declare you can write the variable name and then the data type and you can also initialize the variable like you can name it like where to then make the data type and then you can use the colon equal to and then the value so this way you can declare the variable and this is the way you can initialize the variable at declare section right and if you want to set the default value for the variable if no if if we don't pass anything the default value should be taken there should be some default value that a variable should hold so we can use the default keyword for that so these are the three way you can declare the variable at the declare section so if i say uh, i i declare the variable uh, three different ways i show you how how to declare the variable how to analyze the variable using a colon and how you can set the default value and then if i want to return the same value uh, uh, using a written keyword I can execute this so let me execute this so as per the value the value of where 2 and where 3 is 1.0 2.0 so the output should be 3 let's see what we see the output so here we see the output is 3 similarly how you can declare the variable in the if say if you don't want to declare the uh, variable in the declare section beforehand but you want to declare that uh, in the body because uh, that's chain that that's the requirement like that's the only way you you can declare the variable in the body say if that is a requirement you can do that as well but for that you have to use the let keyword so in sql scripting you can use the let keyword and rest everything will remain same so if you want to declare the variable inside the begin and end you have to use the let keyword so here I'm declaring a variable called result and the data time number like this and similarly if I want to initialize the value I, I should say let variable then data type then colon equal to I'm saying lovely if I want to uh, use that uh, assign the default value to any variable so I can do the same thing so this PLSQL block is exactly the same as what I have just done over here here I have declared all the variable on the declare section here i declared everything but at the end the output of the uh, will be same for both the output so you can see four because i have passed different value so that's the reason the value is different so for where one and where two it's one and three and that's the reason it's four but the output will always remain same if the input is same so i just declare the variable in the begin section rather than the declare section So say uh, sometime it also happen that uh, you are not very sure with the data type you are going to get at the runtime. So you are not sure. You know there is a variable 
uh, which needs to be there uh, declared and uh, that will hold the uh, uh, value but you really don't know uh, what will be the data type of that because your data type keeps on changing at the runtime uh, so but you know that some value will come so if that is a surety that some value will come you can use uh, the way to declare it using like say if you can you can declare it like let result and then you can assign the value as default zero and based on the value whatever is passed over here the variable will auto detect the data type of that particular variable so here if i execute this it this variable will get uh, declared as integer or the number right so it's a zero so it might be a number or a integer value so if i pass a it will treat it as where cap so here you will see that i have declared one variable and set the default value to zero and then i am declaring a variable uh, inside the uh, begin it again with the value of 1 and then I am uh, setting another variable with the default value 3 and then I am doing the summation so if I have a different data type over here it will fail but if it's not a different data type so here you can see the uh, where 1 was 1 where 2 was 3 so if I add them it will be 4 so let me execute this so here you see that I have not declared the data type for any of where 1 and where 2 but it will auto detect the data type as number and it will sum that see here the output is 4 but what will happen if say uh, if I say I will just uh, mm, I declare this and uh, if I don't declare the value and if I say if I execute like this so I don't want to declare the data type as well as I have don't want to pass the value in that case it will fail it will give me the error see SQL compilation error, syntax error, line at position un unexpected. All. So here it is failing because here uh, Snowflake is not able to understand what data type should be assigned to this variable because neither you have declared given the value uh, based on which the Snowflake can detect the variable data type, neither you have declared the data type of the variable. So either should be true, else you will get the error. So this 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 is one of the way you can also uh, decide the data type of the variable on the runtime, and that's a very cool feature, and uh, that's very useful when you are not sure with uh, the data type you are going to get based on the parameter value. So and the last example which I want to showcase you today is like the scope of the variable. So uh, you can declare the variable at different level. But uh, what will be honored is depending upon the level uh, or the intersection of the variable which is getting executed. So here you can see that I have created a procedure and I am passing a parameter and based on the parameter value it will pull the uh, or return the message based on the value. So if say I pass the value as 1 it will display the message of level 3 but if I don't pass the value of 1 it will pull the message from here if I execute this you will see that if I execute 1 it will go and print the level 3 message if section but if I don't pass 1 so if I pass 0 it will not find anything it will go and execute this one so the same variable name but different value has been passed at different levels so in declare section you will see that this was the message at the begin and starting section it was this and inside the uh, if condition this was the message so the same variable declared a different section uh, change the value based on the scope of the variable which will get executed on the runtime so uh, this is what uh, today I wanted to showcase you as part of variable declaration and uh, how to initialize the value, how to set the default value, how to declare with uh, the variable inside declare section versus in the begin end, how to do that and the scope of the variable and how variable can data type can be auto detected. Hope you like the uh, demo today and if you like the demo, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.